Hey everyone, happy Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. So I was playing around this morning with LinkedIn because I recently had a request to subscribe to a newsletter and I was like, well, this is a really interesting feature that I wasn't really aware of. So I did a little digging and looked more into LinkedIn newsletters. And so today I really wanted to go ahead and show you, um, you know, kind of talk about LinkedIn newsletters, whether you should do it for your business or not, and all that fun stuff. But first, a few quick updates. So for the Monetize Your Passion Society, which is my Facebook group and also my in-person meetup group, we are doing an in-person event tomorrow that I am super excited about. Um, this is only going to be our second in-person event. It's at Boxcar Donuts in downtown Rochester. So if you are local to the Rochester area, I highly suggest you come out, have an amazing donut. They have their maple bacon this weekend, and I'm so excited for that. Um, but we're going to be doing like an in-person goal planning session, which is going to be a lot of fun. I have some worksheets and some prompts for us to really plan our goals for 2022. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Be sure to RSVP um, on the events page in the Facebook group or the meetup group. Just search Monetize Your Passion Society and you will find it. Um, but anyways, back to the subject at hand. So like I had mentioned, LinkedIn newsletters. It's a big topic right now. Should you do it or should you not do it for your business? And I don't know about you, but LinkedIn has never been my favorite platform. I have felt like for a very long time that all I get is spam in my LinkedIn. I don't know if you feel the same way. So I barely use it. You know, I have a presence on LinkedIn. I schedule my weekly social posts. I share my blog posts all to LinkedIn. I even go on there to at least answer messages and comments from time to time and take a look at my connections in order to accept them. But beyond that, I have found it to be one of the less useful platforms for me. And I know it's different for everyone. Like, if you're in the corporate world, great. I've known LinkedIn to be very useful for finding, you know, different connections, networking with different people, different donors, finding potential employees, things like that. But as a freelancer and someone who is no longer a part of that soul-sucking jobs like, like the corporate world, it's a little less glamorous. So we get spammed all the time for things that are, don't even apply to us. Um, but anyways, that's besides the point. I'm getting off track. LinkedIn has been really trying to make some serious strides this year to compete with other social media platforms. I know they were doing stories for a short amount of time. I know I was using them like every day. And then all of a sudden that option went away. <laughs> so I don't know what happened to that or maybe... It was just a soft launch and they found out it wasn't really um, performing very well. So now they are diving into launching newsletters. So when I received a request to subscribe to someone's newsletter on LinkedIn, I have to say I was really intrigued. So I did a little further digging to see if it was something I'd like to pursue. I have found this year that email marketing has been outperforming social media as far as helping me to land discovery calls and clients. Yes, you heard me right. Email marketing is my number one tool right now. It's no longer Facebook groups. And let's face it, it's never been Instagram. I love writing my weekly newsletters and scheduling them for the month. And my click rates have honestly lately been through the roof. I've been hearing a lot of great feedback about my efforts. I've even had leads ask me how to build an automation like mine. So, score. So anyways, back to my point. LinkedIn newsletters. Should I or should I not incorporate them into my marketing strategy? So from a repurposing perspective, I can easily write a blog post like the one I wrote this morning about the subject. I can turn it into an email newsletter that I can publish on MailerLite, and now I can uh, publish on LinkedIn. I'm sharing my blog posts on LinkedIn, so, you know, what's, what's another step? It should be easy. But when I tried it out for the first time this morning, so I could give you like a full-on report, I was actually unsuccessful. Apparently the launch is so new that it's by invitation only. So maybe next month, month I'll be able to test this, but I wanted to give you a rundown of what I found so far in all of my research. So if you want to give these new LinkedIn newsletters a try, here's what you need to do first, and that is to, to set your creator option on LinkedIn. So you need to set a creator mode. 
So if you click the little me icon on the top of your LinkedIn homepage, you click view profile, you scroll right underneath your dashboard. There's this option that says creator mode off and you can click it on, which is something new to me. It blew my mind. I had no idea that was even an option. That's how much I use LinkedIn. <laughs> um, and you can add like the topics that you talk about, things like that. And then you just hit save and your creator mode is on. And for a lot of people, once you create, once you set that creator mode, you should be A-OK. -okay. You should be able to create newsletters. However, that wasn't the case for me because they're in a soft launch. So not everybody's going to have that option. But if you want to see if you do, go ahead, turn on that creator mode and see if you can create a newsletter. So if you want to see if you can create a newsletter on LinkedIn, you just hit like when you go to LinkedIn and you have your, not your profile, but like your newsfeed, you can hit write an article as if you were to write a blog or a LinkedIn article. And then you should have an option to hit create a newsletter. That's what I did not have and it was really frustrating because I really wanted to try it out. I'm super excited for this option. So anyways, if you have tried to work, walk through these steps so far, you were able to turn on your creator option, you're following along with me, but you still don't have the choice of creating a newsletter, welcome to my world. <laughs> this means LinkedIn hasn't rolled out the newsletter option to you yet. It is a soft launch, and as normals, we have to wait a few more weeks or months in order to fully test it out. But from my research, I really do think once we all have the option to create a newsletter, it's going to be really, really beneficial, and I just wanted to share some really important points as to why. So LinkedIn newsletters, they expand your audience. So the more people that engage with yours, the more people it will reach, just as if it was any other social media post. LinkedIn newsletters, they create engagement. So a newsletter helps refine your contact, contact list. And this is because when you invite people to sign up for your newsletter, only those who want to hear about you or resonate with your topics will actually sign up and that will improve your engagement. And then LinkedIn newsletters help boost brand awareness. So a newsletter helps get your brand in front of the right people. It's a great way to remind them about your brand and helps showcase the solutions that you provide. And then LinkedIn newsletters also help build authority. So it's the perfect tool to establish yourself as an authority in your niche by creating content that shows that you're an expert. And it also helps you generate leads. So I actually took this from Neil Patel in his article about LinkedIn newsletters. And he said that LinkedIn is 277% more effective at lead generation than Facebook and Twitter. So that's a really interesting statistic because for me, um, I've maybe had like one lead out of the past four years on LinkedIn and I use it just as much as any other social media platform. You know, I'm constantly posting, I'm going on there and answering messages and engaging with people. Yes, it's not my absolute favorite platform, but I do use it. So it's really interesting that he says how high lead generation is. And I hear the same thing from my clients. Like, we're just getting spam all the time. <laughs> it is so annoying, like spam messages from people who maybe are in our niche or not, and they're just looking to sell to you. So having LinkedIn as like the top lead generation platform is really quite interesting, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe once I start using these LinkedIn newsletters, that will change. So, um, you know, LinkedIn may not be lost on my end yet, they're hanging on by a thread for many of us content marketers and newsletters, which may change the game for a lot of us. So if you have this access, don't take this feature for granted. Like you should actually use it and you might be amazed at the outcome. So have you used LinkedIn newsletters? Please be sure to comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts, um, any questions that you might have based on the information I just gave you. And I don't know about you, but I'm super excited for it. I cannot wait to try out these newsletters. And um, it's just going to be one additional flow in my marketing funnel. So, all right, everybody have a wonderful Friday and a, an amazing weekend. So thank you so much and take care.